flu integrity check or test. My name's Alan Hart and, and today this is a really really short video today and it just goes uh, it's just to show you the importance of testing the flu um, the air intake on the flu obviously we would always check the the flu gases or, or the flu gas analyzer point but also we need to check the air intake as well and we need to check for things like burner seals flu seals uh, and things like that as well inside the boiler we've got a special guest again today we've got um, Elliot from eFry gas services he's done us a short video on testing testing the flu so he's, he's got a valent combi boiler so he's going to show us a little bit about that and then after that we've got a few clips from boilers that i've been to and then we've got a few pictures from other jobs as well so without further ado let's go and have a look at this this job with elliot this video is for gas safe registered and trainee gas engineers under supervision please comply with the current regulations at the time happy friday on my first job of the day since 8am and i'm gacking around with it still here and it's now 10 to 12. anyway standard border service and these are the reasons that we do flu integrity tests and the supply air tests so i did all the uh, combustion checks and it was a little bit high thought i can be adjusted down a little bit did the flu integrity test and i'm getting readings which i shouldn't be so one of the reasons we do these checks is to make sure that the flu hasn't got cracks in it this one here you see it's completely split and this was into the turret so this end on the boiler so it's leaking definitely leaking um i was getting readings on my analyzer when i was sticking it up inside there um great wonderful had to shoot off to city plumbing picked up a spare flue fitted it um there it's got a plume kit outside and bits and bobs and then did my uh integrity test and it wasn't as bad as it was, but nonetheless, it was still um, leaking. So I thought, flipping heck, now what is it? And I will show you what else I found, and the easy way to check as well, some leak detector fluid, spray it, spray it up into that joint up there, and there it is, bubbling away. Why is my focus gone out? There it is. Bubbling away like a trooper. So it's the top lip seal or seal, whatever you like to call it the main heat exchanger but just to prove your theories spray a bit of leak detector fluid up there now the boiler's not fans not running but you can see it bubbling and that will be uh, the reason why and just so you know what the difference is and why they wear so this is the new one that my phone won't focus unless i'm up against something equal um you can see that lip inside there nice and clear lip that's on the new one and the old one that's next to no lip left they do die i normally keep these in van stock and quite often i don't often have to replace them on the valence but there we go thank you again elliot for that um, very very grateful for all the effort that you put in to helping this channel out if anybody else has any um any videos please do send them in I will add my WhatsApp details below. Um, yeah, I'd be very grateful for that. So what that's showing you is your flu integrity test and what you need to do. I'm going to go over that a little bit. I'm going to draw some examples up on this board here um, and explain that in a bit more detail for you. Just shows the importance of using a flue gas analyzer when you're going to service a boiler. These are other analyzers that are available, tester, whatever. Um, but it just goes to show the importance of using a flue gas analyzer for, for testing. I'm just going to show you one now where a job that I went to, and this is a Biasi boiler, and it hadn't been installed very well. But what I'll do is I'll show you that. I did do a full video for this as well, and I'll add a description, um, I'll add a link in the description below for that video as well. Um, but yeah, let's go and have a look at this Biasi. Flu seal. This is a Biasi combi boiler, and the customer had explained that it hadn't worked very well 
from when it was installed or, or it never it never worked very well and the customer actually blamed the boiler for this but as I say I have done a full video on this and, and I will add a link below and you can see clearly it's not the boilers fault on how it's installed this one's more obvious or a lot more obvious than most boilers we go to you can clearly see as soon as you remove the case that it's got a big that it's got a big problem or it's got a big issue and then you need to find out what that issue is and, and why you've got all this stainage coming down or all, all this stains coming down on this particular one it was the flu elbow but it could be could be seal on top of it If we have a look at the, the elbow here, we can see that clearly it's not been installed correctly. The installation of that biase boiler was absolutely shocking and clearly wasn't installed by a gas safe registered engineer. But I did do a video about it, so as I say, if you want to have a look at that, go and have a look at that. Um, just to try and explain what we're trying to achieve or what we're trying to do. When we do the air integrity check is if you imagine imagine this is the heat exchanger this so that's your heat exchanger in your boiler a, a gas boiler is has two flues on it some people think it's one flue this is the flue or this is a flue you've got your test points on front there and one of them test points tests for the flue gases and one of them tests for the air and that's the air coming in and what you can how you can use that is to make sure that the flu is not damaged but if we just take this apart here and hopefully that explains to you what's going on so the black part of the flu there that's where the flue gases go out of and then around the outside of this where this is that's where the air comes in and I have done some other videos about that in the past and I've just tried to draw it on here so what we're trying to do what we're trying to check is that these flue gases here are not mixing so what can sometimes happen is if you've got a flue joint you might have you might have a flue extension and you might have like a break here or you might have a faulty seal so one of the just one of the normal seals this seal in there just a seal very basically just a seal could fail and what would happen then if this if this failed if this seal failed or if it had a crack in the flue so sometimes on I've seen it on the back of flues where it can split down the full length so this full length of the flue can split but what happens then is if you imagine your flue gas is there trying to go out instead of bringing fresh clean air in for combustion so instead of clean air coming in here instead of clean air coming in what it'll do is some clean air will come in but it will also send back to the boiler some of the gases that's already already burnt and that causes it like gives an acceleration effect really of carbon monoxide and incomplete combustion and sometimes you can tell straight away on the on the readings when you test it with with, with your normal flue gas analyzer for the uh, combust uh, com the combustion side sometimes the readings will be off the scale or they'll be really high and and straight away that tells you something is wrong but then what we do we check on the on this one here the middle one there so when we take that out of there we get us probe and we put us probe in there and that probe goes down into the middle and what that does is that's testing for the combustion gases but when we take the other test point out this one that's now testing for the air intake there so I don't know if you can see that there it's just there 
So that's just testing for the air intake into the into the boiler. And to test this, we need to turn this analyzer to the O2 setting. You see there. And what we're looking for, we're looking for a reading 20.9 on there. Or if you forget what that figure is, then if you went outside and you tested the outside air, then that's ideally what you'd be getting on in the boiler. So just a little little tip there, because often people say, I can't remember what that reading should be. And then all we're doing to test for the for the test for the air integrity test is we put it into we're putting it into the analyzer point. Which is for the air, so the air air side of it. Normally you do that with case on, but please refer to the installation instructions of the boiler. And also with all these videos that I do, check the installation instructions and check the current regulations at the time. Things change, people do things in different ways that sometimes might not be exactly to what the regulations say. So it's, so it's very, very important that you check for yourself and you check with the manufacturers. You check with the manufacturers to make sure that you're doing it how the manufacturers say that you need to do it. As well as te testing for the air, air side of it, you'd also do your, your, your normal readings with your flue gas analyzer. And again, they will be in the installation instructions. If you do have any questions, then please ask them in the comments below. And as always, if you could like and share, I'd be very grateful. Just another few little things just to check. And um, what you often find, like um, on the Ideal Logics quite a lot and on the Ideal Vogue, what, what happens is when you when you push the flue in on the top here, this part of the flue, this bit, sometimes it, it comes out a bit. And it, I'll show you, it's easier to show you on this one, but sometimes it can come up a bit. And it doesn't actually seal anymore so that's another thing just to check when you're going to do a boiler service just check that the seal from the flue part is is intact and it's in the right place also check for any stains around it because that's a good indication as well if you see a lot of stains there sometimes it can be from from water coming in on the air intake from rain etc but more often than not it will be to do with the flu that's mixing and obviously that would need to be sorted out. Um, yeah, I hope you found this video of some use. I'm just going to show you a few pictures just on end of that, on, on end of this. But for now, thanks very much and, and thanks for watching as always. Thanks for all your support. Thank you.